Okay, you guys can all thank me later. I promised that I would not show a lot of boring crap in this series, and I lived up to that promise. It's a little bit earlier, I spent uh, probably about an hour and 15 minutes in real life uh, doing some, some power leveling. I am now up to level 32, which might not seem like a ton, because I think at the end of the last episode, I was at like ep uh, level 29 or 30, but my enchanting skill has gone up drastically to 72, and um, that's because I, like I said a second ago, spent about an hour, you know, taking the stockpile of uh, soul gems and uh, crafting the jewelry crafting materials I had built up and crafted a bunch of rings and necklaces and then enchanted all of them uh, to, you know, get my enchanting skill up pretty quickly. And um, that caused me to level up a couple times, which allowed me to get some neat new enchanting perks. And then I was able to take all that stuff that I had made uh, out into the market in solitude to go uh, sell it and make some money. I also fought a dragon along the way, and the locals were super impressed by that. And while I was selling off all of my, uh, all my rings, I bought something called the Jade Dragon, which ended up being an item that I could put in the museum. So that was really cool. And then when I got back to the safe house, I was able to use those new perks um, along with some uh, some gems uh, to power up the enchanting table and then some potions to uh, enchant my gear, um, finally, because I'd been walking around with, uh, with no enchantments on my armor <laughs> for like the entire playthrough. So um, my armor is a little bit stronger now. Um, and aside from that, I did a little bit of cleaning house, stored some inventory, I was able to increase the display count in the museum to like 148 by the time all that was said and done. So it was a very productive hour and 15 minutes, but it was also very, very boring. So I was not going to subject you to watching that. And that brings us to right now. With all of my uh, enchanted gear and uh, leveled up self, we can finally go to Mazalt and continue the College of Winterhold quest line. And hopefully, the the new improvements I've made to my my gear will um, will make a difference, especially especially in combat. I know that Mazalt is a a Dwemer ruin, so we're probably going to encounter some some Falmer in a. Oh my gosh. Where did that come from? <laughs> what? Where did that come from? Why is it like... Why is it jiggling? Very confused. Can I move this? Can I punch it? Get out of here! Go on, get! Get out of here! Gosh. They do not pay me enough for this. All this cleanup I'm doing. This is volunteer work volunteering in solitude oh actually that reminds me I wanted to go to what's it called I wanted to go to the college and upgrade my destruction spells a bit being level 32 now I would imagine I'll start encountering some um, some higher level enemies and it might be helpful to have some stronger destruction spells to combat that so I need to find, what's her name? Feralda. I need to find Feralda. And, I, wait. Hold on. Is she, is she right there? No. Is she here? Is she in the Hall of Countenance? I can never remember these halls. I can never tell them apart. I always, I always get them confused. Is that Feralda? Hello, Feralda. Mirabel does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. Wow. Okay. Well. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? I don't know how I feel about her uh, trash talking Mirabelle, just you know, out in the open, chatting about it. Oh, flame cloak is a good spell. Okay, I'll get that one. Okay, so I think fireball is the the accepted or the typical. Um, I think it's that's the typical adept level destruction spell that you might get at the um in the vanilla game what is this the lied oh i know what the okay 
Yeah, this is an interesting one. It, yeah, it deals more damage based on how far it travels. It heats up as it travels, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, we can grab that. Chain Lightning's a cool one. It's kind of dangerous, but we can get it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, sure. We're gonna, yeah, spend a lot of money here in a second. Okay, that should be good enough, though. Until next time. Yes, till next time, Veralda. Try not to trash talk your superiors in front of the students. It's not a good look for the college. All right, let's learn some stuff. Let's learn us some things. Okay, so... Destruction stuff. So, I, uh, I guess I could favorite fire ball. See, like, it, it costs so much more than... Um, fire bolt. I think I will still make that number four. So let's see. If I dual cast it. Yeah, look at that. Look how much magic it, it takes just to cast it one time. That being said, it should be significantly stronger. Ah, see, I don't know. The, I don't know. It does 51 damage. The other one does... Fire bolt does 32. Although this one's an AoE effect. Uh, it hits in a 15 foot radius. So I don't know. We'll see. Flame Cloak, I will favorite that. Frost Nova. I'm curious about that. What's Frost Nova? Oh wait, what am I what am I about to do? Ah, no. Oh, that's cool. What does that look like in third person? Oh, that's neat. Oh, I like that a lot. I am favoriting that all day. Alright, Ice Spike, Ice Storm. What does Ice Storm do? Oh. What is it? How does it hit things? Oh, you must... You probably have to have a target for it to explode. Okay, so that's Ice Storm. Lightning Cloak's a good one. Okay, what's Scatter Shock? Oh, that's cool. Oh, interesting. It's like a machine gun. <laughs> so cool. Well, let's see. What was the other one? Uh, yeah, sure. Keep that stuff. You know what? I will not favorite those because I don't know how often I'll actually use them. But yeah, what is Electrosphere? Okay. So it's not it's not as slow moving as um uh what's it called? Ice storm? No. Frost Nova? No. What am I thinking of? What spell did I just do that is it this? Yeah, that one. So it's not quite as slow moving as Ice Whirlwind, but still eh, it doesn't move that fast. Okay, cool. So we've got some new spells to play with. That's fun. And there was this one, Belide. Chain Lightning's pretty self-explanatory. I will favorite Electrosphere. Uh, yeah. Also favorite that. And let's see. Yeah, Belide. This one's fascinating because it's like... Yeah, it's like a bullet. Yeah, I've used that one in previous playthroughs before. It's, 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 it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. It's, uh... Again, it's it's more useful as a... Like a... Almost a sneak attack, actually. If you wanted to build, like, a sneaky mage... Uh... Build. That would be a good spell for that. Anyway. Enough messing around. Let's go get to Mzolft. Which is down here. I guess I should... I can't tell what would be quicker. Maybe if I start from here? Kynes Grove all the way. Um, actually, I think going from Kynes Grove might be faster. So we will go from there. Well, you guys look like you're either running toward or away from something. Okay, well, guess it was nothing. Alright, on we go to Kynes Grove. 
Not to Kynes Grove, to Mzolft. I'm leaving Kynes Grove. A bee. Bees? Even more bees. Bees? Oh, a honeycomb. Nice. One of the things I do enjoy about Skyrim and about the, the map in particular is how diverse the landscape is. You know, because like, over, like, even down in Riften, just slightly south, you have this like, autumny, you know, fall colored trees kind of area. But here it's like a barren wasteland. It's like, you know, like hot, you know, really hot puddles and almost, it's almost desert-like uh, terrain. But I mean, there's water and it's right next to mountain ranges. Uh, it's like a hot spring area. I don't know. And then like way up north in Winterhold, you have like the frigid north. Uh, it's just fun. There are a lot of diverse uh, landscapes in Skyrim, and it kind of makes the world feel bigger, which is definitely one of my favorite aspects of the game. Oh boy, I see some mammoths over there, which means that a giant might not be far away. Got to keep my eyes peeled. Who might you be? Hag. Is there a hag? <laughs> I'll take that cloak. I probably won't wear it, but nice to have options. Okay. Ooh, Hagrid and feathers. Don't mind if I do. That is also kind of terrifying, because that means... A Hagraven lives here. I yeah, I've already read that book. I got that from my friend Urag. As payment for uh nice some cards. Surviving a uh necromancer den. Oh, ooh, sky shard. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm always in the mood. Grab a sky shard. Oh, great. Ah. <sighs> of course. What is this guy doing? Where'd he go? Where is he? Show your face, coward! Oh, there you are. Hey, why don't you uh, come closer so I can hit you? Seriously, man? Are you just going to hang out up there all day? What even are you? I, can, I need to know what type of dragon you are so I know how to hit you. Oh, gosh. Oh, you're clearly a fire dragon of some kind. So, I don't know. I don't know what I should do here. Ice storm, maybe? Scatter shock. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I feel like that's doing nothing. Never mind. <laughs> this is not going well. I'm already off to a great start. Hold on. Maybe she should do ice fight. Mm. Oh boy. Heal up, Bob. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Oh my gosh, man. In the world. Oh, there. Ugh. Oh, man. Remember in the last episode where I was like, I'm going to get back on my game. I'm going to be good at this game again. I feel like I've lost that. I I had it again, but now I've lost it. Oh, my gosh. This dragon! Can you just land so I can slice you with my sword? There you go. You sucker. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Freak, get out of here. There we go. Man, I love the absorb health enchantment. That enchantment is my literal best friend right now. That was superb. Woo, celebratory fireball. Boom. Yeah. Celebratory fireball. Boom. And maybe I can go three for three. Maybe? Nope. Cannot. 
But fret not, we got ourselves a dragon soul. And if I'm not mistaken, that dragon probably came from up here, which means now this dragon burial, whatever they, these are called, uh, dragon, it's not a temple. Shrine? It's not a shrine either. It's like a roost. This dragon roost is now unoccupied. And I can take whatever is up there. If I could just find out how to get up there. Is that? No, that's not it. How do you get up here? Oh, here we go. This looks promising. There it is. Okay, I found it. Don't worry, everyone. I found it all by myself. And what do we got here? Iron ore. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Is there any more over here? I thought I saw another vein. Never mind. I'm insane. <laughs> what a rhyme. I'm a dang poet. Didn't even know it. Dang it. What, what, what horror do we have here? Cold frost breath. You know, I actually might have some shouts that I can, I can unlock. Frost breath. Why not? Why not? I will unlock that. And I guess unlock that. Might as well. Okay. And let me loot this. And then I promise. Oh, nice. Aqua Aura. And a high card. Very nice. Silver Hawk Bow. That's fancy looking. It's probably not unique. But I like the way it looks. So I'm going to take it. I'm still kind of in pack rat mode. Oh, here we go. If I see anything shiny or cool looking, I... <laughs> Ooh, gotta grab that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Okay, enough getting distracted, Bob. We gotta get over to Mzolft. Mzolft. Don't know if that's supposed to be like one, you know, one word or like two syllables, you know, like Mzolft or Mzolft. I think I've been saying it wrong. I've probably just been saying Mzolft like a chump. Aha! Sucker! That's right, wolf. That's what you get for killing that goat. I saw what you did. Oh, baby. Giant camp. Man, I still don't think I am equipped to take on a giant. I mean, I might be. I'm sure if I kite him around and uh, use potions, blah, 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 I can take him down. But I don't know. That just I feel like at this stage in my playthrough, it would still take me a couple minutes. A couple minutes we don't really have time for right now. So I'll just wait till I have a spell like Incinerate. Um, and <laughs> that way I can... Who are you? Oh, oh! Boom! Why did it send me to third person? Because <laughs> I did not press that button. Okay, who are you? Mercenary. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. Where are you headed? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Okay. Yeah, it's understandable. On your way, then. Thanks for wasting my time. You're welcome. All right. I can see the icon for Mazolft. We are getting close. Hmm, you know what else I just realized? We picked up a perk point from that sky shard. I, that did not even register in my brain. I need to do something with that. Um, 
Anything in? I feel like I should try to augment my destruction powers in some way. Am I gonna do that? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I need I need I need higher damage from my destruction spells. Yeah, right now they're not quite getting the job done. Although that felt pretty powerful. Good grief. <laughs> Oh, that's got to be a record. Looky there. I see a Dwarven Ruin. Dwemer Ruin. Dwarven Ruin? I guess it doesn't matter. Like, you know, potato, potato. Dwemer, Dwarven. Same thing. Oh, another Sky Shard. Yes. I will take that all day. Take that all day. What is this? Is this anything? No. Tis nothing. Tis nothing but a scratch. Tis only a scratch. If you don't know what that's from, it is from a scene in Monty Python, The Search for the Holy Grail. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. I just get on YouTube. Uh, after you're done watching all of Bob Meets World's videos, uh, go to the search bar, type in Monty Python, uh, I think it's called The Black Knight, and just enjoy. It's a fun little bit from a very funny movie. Hello, adventurer. It's a, it's a lot of blood. I really don't want to know what happened there. Okay, so before we go into Mizolf, I'm going to go in here real quick. Because I happen to know that there are quite a few goodies to be got in this Dwarven storeroom. Who? What? Who's there? Someone here? Oh, that's like a, oh, that's a spider. Why is there a spider there? Why is there a spider there? That's creepy. I don't like that at all. Am I about to be face to face? Yep, I am. Giant spider broodling. Oh, boy. You are creepy. Ugh. Get out of here. Yep, see? Look at all this stuff. Look at all these dwarven metal ingots. I love it. I was just just took that plate. Did not mean to. Get out of here, Dwemer Bowl or whatever. Yeah, Bowl. Get out of here, Bowl. And there's this chest. And this chest. Yeah, like there's there's. Oh, nice, a mask. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So actually, um, in many playthroughs, I have um, made this one of my first stops um, in the entire playthrough because. You can unlock a couple of doors and, um, you know, get some lock picking level up. Oh. You can get some lock picking level up. Um, obviously, there are, there's a lot of loot. Okay, I'll pick that up in a second. I need to, <laughs> need to deal with this real quick. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna deal with this for just a second. What the heck is going on? That's a giant spider. Oh. Hey, guys. Ah, sucker. Oh, get away from me. Get away from me, little weirdos. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> it's a good thing Becca doesn't play this game. You hate this. This would, uh, this would definitely be her least favorite part of the game. Why was this back here? What is going on? Is there like, is there anything more to this, or is it just, is it just that these spiders are back here? 
See, now I'm confused. I, I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to be looking for. Or if there are just some creepy spiders. Okay, well. Let me take one last look around. Gosh, that scared me. Did you see that right there? I thought that was like a... Um, one of those like uh, Chorus mosquito thingies I thought there was something else over there That was going to come get me Yeah, I guess there's nothing else here Weird Okay, well There we go, I did it Got rid of the infestation Now I can pick up this thing Ethereum shard which is part of another quest that we will get to later. Alright, is there anything over here I need? Dwarven Axe of Thunderbolts. I think I already have the electrical damage enchantment, so I'm not going to take that because it's super heavy. Uh, yeah. Man. Hey, there we go. Okay, finally, we can go into Mazolt. What? Okay. Whoops, whoa. Why did that... Was that not on before? Oh. Oh, interesting. So because I turned off my lantern, the, uh... The light from the candlelight uh, became the primary source of illumination, but it made the ground look weird. I was like, wait, did I, did my lantern change color? It's very confused. Crystal, gone. <coughs> Find Paratus in Oculori. Oh. Mazolt key. Okay. Research log. Attendant Gavros, the Council has become aware of the lack of progress in your group's efforts. They are particularly displeased to learn that your specifications for the focusing crystal were completely incorrect. The entire Binders Conclave has worked tirelessly, and the Council is quite sure this new crystal will suit your needs. You are herewith entrusted with delivering the crystal to the site, completing your work, and delivering a full report to the Council with all possible haste. The Council trusts you will deliver the crystal to the Oculori personally, and that there will be no further complications. First adjunct, Orenrel. This guy sounds bossy. Wow. Sorry I had to witness your death in real time, Gavros. That did not seem pleasant. Hopefully, whatever killed you does not kill me. Ah, who are we kidding? That's not going to kill me. I've got enchanted armor now. Let me avoid that pressure plate. Ooh. A potion. I won't take that. Okay. Let's press forward. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. Oh. Nailed it. Oh, nice. I forgot these guys have ore on them sometimes. And soul gems. That's perfect, because I probably need to recharge my sword. Or I probably will need to recharge it. So let's take a quick look around. I actually, I think I will. Yeah, I think I'll need my lantern in here. It is pretty dark. Is it on? Okay, yeah, it's on. Sweet. Hey, punk. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for the soul gems. Your contribution has been collected and is appreciated. Let's see if there's anything else of interest. And let's not trigger that trap. There we go. 
This door is like somebody on the internet just waiting to get triggered. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Let's loot up. Blessed Steel Sword. Nice. Elven Boots of Hauling. That's a good enchantment that I think I already have. But if nothing else, I can probably sell that for a pretty penny. Or, as they are called in Tamriel, septums, apparently. Nothing over there. Okay, moving on. There, I guess I should be using a, a variety of spells here. <laughs> I've gotten kind of kind of bland. I'm just using fireball over and over again. So let's try. I don't want scatter shock. That's right. Okay, I'll try that next. See if I <laughs> see if it does enough damage uh, to kill these. Dwarven spiders, or if I die instantly. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay, the oh, that's actually not doing too bad. That was not too bad. I wonder if they are less resistant to lightning damage, which is possible. That that would make sense to me, since they are, um, you know electronic to a degree you, you know what I mean electronic in that they operate uh, based on electricity or maybe they just fire electricity they're mechanical they're mechanical that's what I was trying to say <laughs> they are mechanical so it makes sense to me for some reason that electric or lightning-based attacks would hurt them more. Was I hitting that thing? Well, that's a buzz kill. Ugh, fine. I'll do it the slow way. That's super lame. The hit marker must be wigging out on that, uh, that ore vein. I was pointing right at it. Wasn't it letting me mine the stuff. Okay. Gosh, that was so slow. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. You do a lot of damage. Do not like you. Um. Nah, I should probably just heal. Thought about using a poison on this guy, but that seems like that might be a waste. I if I can just block. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just kicked him right in the face. Oh, I love it. There wasn't even any, like, any, uh, you know, slick move or anything, like, it was just, boom, kicked right in the chin. Sometimes that's the most effective way to kill something, I guess. Just kick it right in the face. Especially when it's a weird flying bug thing. Alright, uh, it looked like there was something... Anything over here? A uh, wheat? I will take that wheat. And check this guy. Take that potion. And those ingredients. Oh, a paralyzed scroll. That could be helpful later. Okay. I'm going to quick save because I haven't gone through any doors or anything lately. So I have not auto-saved. And I'm encountering some pretty tough enemies already, so who goes there? Who can I... Oh, you know what? I wonder if I, I, wonder if I can use Bolide. I wonder if I'm far enough away that this will be effective. Oh, hello. 
Oh, this is okay. No, this is working okay. This is working okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Gosh, I hate these things. These guys are the worst. They are so scary. Yes. Okay. Okay. So he's dead. Gosh, I hate those things. The creepy giant bug things. Oh, here's the little one. There we go. Yeah, not not as afraid of the the little ones, the the big ones that that get me freaking out. 